Hi. Today I wanted to show you all what uh, a panic box is. Um, a panic box to me when is whenever you get like really anxious or upset, um, feel like hurting yourself. You need something to distract yourself. So you a good thing to have is something to go to, something to distract yourself to um, to make you think of other things to it, it, it's what I call mindfulness. Um, and you'll learn it in, in dialectical behavioral therapy, which is where I learned it from. So here's my panic box and I'll show you what everything I have in it. It's just a normal little box. You know, like you find in school supplies places. Purple, of course, because that's my thing. You open it up, it just has a few little things in it. Like I have a little doll. Now, what I would do with this is I would just sit here and concentrate on the feel of her hair, the color, the texture, maybe even the smell. You know, I would look at the color of her eyes and, and describe them. You know, the same with her lips and her nose. And then go down to her clothes and her little hands, you know, and her feet. You know, what color shoes does she have on? You know, there's a whole lot of things you can do with this. I mean, you can sit and pose her in different in different ways. You know, just in generally play with the little doll. That will help keep you entertained enough to take your mind off of your other problems. Um, now, if you're not that much of a girly girl, you can do other things. Um, I have one of these little poker machines that you could sit here and play poker on. You just turn it on. I don't know if you all can see that. Yeah, there you go. But, you know, you can play poker. I also have a small notebook that I can write things in or draw things. Um... I put stickers in it. I also write stuff like my life matters, you know, little inspirational things. Also, I am a survivor. Just little things to remind myself that, you know, I'm a good person. I've been through a lot of shit, and I'm getting better. Um, you know, something else that has a lot of texture and color, something else you can sit there and describe is a good thing. Anything that has a lot of texture and color and um, things like that are good things to have in a panic box. Here's a few other things that I'm going to add to my panic box. Um, just like a little scrunchie for your hair because it has a lot of texture and color and you can do a lot of things with it, you know. You can even just sit here and play with it like this, you know. If it takes stress away. Um, this beautiful bracelet. It has all these textures to it and all these colors. With the different jewels and the beads. It's one of my favorite bracelets. And then I have this. It's a little compact mirror. It has a butterfly on it. I got it from a very dear friend's grandma. For Christmas one year. See, this is what it looks like. Let me open it up. And it's going to be also in my panic box. Now, I don't use my panic box as much as I used to. 
every once in a while, it's still nice to be able to go back to it and use it when I need to. So I think, I think it's something that everyone who struggles with, even just depression, um, or, you know, bipolar or borderline de um, personality disorder, anything like that, or even just PTSD, anything that where you get really, really low, you need to pick me up or you need something to distract yourself from wanting to hurt yourself. Um, a panic box is a perfect thing for you. Uh, you can put anything you want in it that makes you feel better. That you can sit there and you can describe. That you can sit there. I mean, you can put like tea bags in it, you know, to to help you, you know, with that scent, you know. Something that makes you feel good. Or you can just go to the kitchen and get a tea bag out. Like I have mint tea bags, you know. And I open them up and I smell them and I just instantly feel better. Um yeah, just find yourself something that, that makes you feel better, you know, that, that makes you smile. And, you know, it makes things so much better. It just brightens your mood. All right, well, that's it for me for tonight. Uh, I'll talk to you all later. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.